Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a fun project you can do with our January Club Couture Transfer. I'm going to do something I've never done before and use a scroll saw. So I'm going to apply the design first to wood using chalk paste and then I'm going to cut it out. This is, no joke, my very first time cutting out a transfer uh, or anything with a scroll saw. So it's a little bit iffy here in the beginning, but don't worry guys, I do learn a little bit of technique as I go through. Um, but basically just trying to get as close to the transfer design as possible without cutting the design off because I really want it to just be about the chalk design itself. I'm just trying to focus on those sharp corners making sure it's nice and rounded um, so I have an easy piece to sand down. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with this scroll saw. I'm surprised how much I liked it. I definitely think I am going to purchase one for myself. This is my friends that I was using but I love the possibilities of different projects I can create with Chalk Couture and a scroll saw. So if you have a scroll saw guy, I'm officially in the market. Okay, now it's time to prep my box frame. This is a surface we have through Chalk Couture, and I'm just simply using our chalk marker and going through and making straight lines to give it a faux shiplap look to it, um, which is just a fun idea to just add a little, little bit more texture to the design itself. Um, the chalk marker is something that you have to pump. It's not actually dying. You have to either shake it or pump it out. Okay, now I'm going to put tiny holes in the top of my frame. I'm just using a screwdriver to do this. Putting the screw all the way through the frame so it pokes out on the other side. And then I've taken twine that has a piece of tape wrapped around the tip, which makes it easier to slide into the frame. Tie a knot that won't pull through. And then of course, um, add my favorite wooden beads just for a cute garland look that strings across the top of the frame. And then again, slip it through with a nice knot that's not gonna pull through your hole. And last but not least, I'm gonna apply some Velcro to the back of my project and to my board surface. You can easily swap this out with other scroll saw designs seasonally. And then finally, I'm just gonna add a little embellishment and just tie a few quick ribbons to my garlands. Again, those can easily be swapped out for the season. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoy my project. Thanks for watching.